Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be continuing our insta-death career mode. So other than trying to orbit Kerbin, the other contracts that we have are basically going to certain areas and doing observational science or ferrying people from one end to the other. Now we don't have the capability of round trip flight capability so that would be a negative on that. And I don't have the funds or really, I mean I think I have the tech but I don't believe I have the funds to do an orbit just yet. Let's see. Well, we, 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 we might. We might. Let's let's check it out. Okay, so we do have... We do own all this now. We, we bought everything. Okay, so I have read your comments. And everyone says that this, in many, many ways, is the best one. Instead of the Mark I command pod. Because it has a built-in heat shield and a built-in decoupler. I'm going to do a quick test. Jeb, I think you're alright to do this. Okay, so the only downside is that this thing doesn't have a reaction wheel. Okay. Ah, that's cool. And it's just a ball. <laughs> it's just a ball. That Actually, that's pretty cool. I've never really tested it out like this before. All this time, I never really used this. In Solar Nations, I used it to put inside of a nose cone to try to mimic um, SpaceX's Dragon Capsule. But that is so cool. It's like a little ball. It's a ball. It's literally a ball. I'll be dang. I don't know why. I'm just, I'm just tickled over that. For the longest time, I've never used this thing the way it's supposed to be used. It's a freaking ball. It's a Christmas ornament. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Okay. 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 Hmm. You don't say. Well, five meters per second is a little... Uh, it's gonna be... Uh, um. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. You know what? I think orbit might be achievable. That's the only problem, though. Using the command pod for good grief. It's expensive quick. It's expensive real quick. Like, stupid quick. Yeah, that's the only problem. We can only go up to 30 parts. So if I was to add a whole bunch of fuel tanks, that would not help us at all. We don't have a whole lot of money. This has to work the first time. <sighs> this would suck up all of our funds. Oh my gosh. That would murder the space program. I don't think we're ready, guys. Even if we made it and came back, we're not going to get more than maybe a couple thousand out of it. The recovery of the space vehicle itself would only be this much, which would be just another couple thousand. We wouldn't have hardly anything left. All right. Okay, I'm making a decision here. We're going to name this the XR-7 Orbiter, and we're going to put it on hold. We need to go out there and get more science and make more money before we even attempt to do this. We don't have to worry about the contract expiring because it never does. Okay, where are these other contracts at? So we need to make an aircraft because those um, observational contracts are at high altitudes. I'm making a judgment call. I'm going to go ahead and unlock Engineering 101 for the decoupler and the thermometer. I'm going to use the thermometer to gather more science and hopefully get more funds around the KSC. And with a decoupler, I won't have to put two capsules together, so it might make the craft a lot cheaper and a lot lighter. Here we go. And I'll buy the decoupler. Ooh, 2,500. All right, let's buy the thermometer. And I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll make some money first going around KSC with our little vomit cart and gather some new science and monies. Seriously, no science out here? No science next to this thing? No science at all, huh? Oh, thank goodness. We have two contracts we can make some easy money off. I was getting worried there for a second. Ah, <laughs> who I was getting worried. Oh, active contracts too. I can only have two contracts at a time. Uh, okay. Oh, I was getting worried. Thank, thank goodness. Oh, we need to be in the water. Okay. Nate Simpson, welcome to the fold. Now that is a weird looking design, but the interesting thing about this design is that it's stable on the way up and when it runs out of gas, it's stable on the way down too. Okay, we got some monies now, just keep going. I think I can do that now fairly easily with liquid fuel. Okay, this is a weird looking spacecraft, but it kind of looks interesting. 
interestingly cool. Okay, so we need to be flying at 4,000 meters at that speed, and boom, we're done. Come on. All right, so that's me completed, right? You know what? I'm going to accept this because I think I'll be able to do it now. Okay, we're all there. Huh. Well, that wasn't cool. Run test. There we go. Okay, let's see here. None of these are really interesting. Three days, two days, five days, one hour, four days. I want to make some more money before we start, before we do our orbital thing. So, let's let time go by some. One day, two day, three day. Hmm, okay. You know, this craft has been really, really good to me. It's it's the money maker right now. It's making all kinds of money testing out stuff. It needs a name. E.T. Hmm. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. E.T. can stand for um, Express Transit. There we go. Oh, hell yeah. But we have nothing left for landing. I just hope we can. I just hope we can. Do we have any experiments on board? Oh, I got this. What about you? Oh, I got it. Okay. All right, here we go. Ooh, easy with the G limits. Parachute's out. Uh, oh, that was that that was a little intense. If I can do it without bouncing. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. This is what we're gonna do. We are going to take a test radial decoupler contract and use it to get into orbit. We won't worry about any of this. We'll use it to get into orbit. And then when we come back, we can finish the contract. That'll work. We have 425 days that we can use this part. I mean, I was going to use this up here for a place to store crew reports, but if not, then we'll have to take that off. I think we have enough money in three, two, one. What on earth is creating the mountain of drag? Gee, at Christmas. Are you kidding me? That's enormous. That's, that's just ridiculous. Good gosh. <laughs> well, hopefully that rocket lands somewhere. Oh, where'd it go? Oh dear. Wherever it is, I hope it doesn't land over here somewhere. That would be bad. Whew, that took a nice big chunk out of our money there. Okay, so if it's not gonna play fair, neither will we. Hmm, not enough funds. I think this would work. This is completely maxed out weight, almost maxed out park, part, 3,269 meters per second. It's got the drag oriented to the bottom completely. So as I go up, it's gonna actually pull on the ass end of this thing, keeping it straight. I don't know. We'll see what happens in the next episode. Until then, love you all, take care, and I will see you later. Bye for now. Bye-bye. That is, that is gonna be really, if this works, this works. I mean, if this works, I, I don't know. I think it will, though.